Do you need glasses? Well, I don't know. Maybe if you check out this video, you'll have a better idea at the end. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I am Eyeglass Tyler, an optician with Sporter X. Welcome again to my home. Please pull up a chair and get comfortable. I wanna to talk to you right now about how to tell if you need glasses. For some, it might be obvious, but maybe not everyone. So we wanna talk a little bit about it. And the topics I'm going to cover are going to be vision issues, of course. If you're having vision issues, go get an eye exam, you nut. It just makes sense. Well, I'll dig a little bit deeper into that. I'll talk about eye exams. I will talk about a failed driving test because for some people, that's the first time they've thought about having to get an eye exam. And so a little bit about that, and then I'll end on some different vision corrections just to give you a more well-rounded understanding of what goes into vision issues. And you know, maybe it'll be help you to identify something that you need. So hopefully by the end of this video, you have a better grasp of what your eyes might be needing and what we can do for you. So let's start with vision issues. That makes the most sense to me. There are a lot of different vision issues that can cause you to go to your doctor to see if you need to wear glasses. And one of the most common ones would be blurred vision, of course, and then squinting. If you find yourself squinting a lot, these two issues are associated the most with either nearsightedness or farsightedness or even astigmatism, which actually doesn't fall in either of those categories, nearsighted, farsighted. It pretty much just means that your vision is blurry across the board. I think that might be the one that is associated most commonly with squinting. Eye strain is another one, especially for people that are dealing with a lot of near vision work like reading or computer vision. And this is most often related to farsightedness because that means that you can see far, but you can't see as well near. What's interesting about this one is that actually farsightedness, people who have this condition, which is called hyperopia, which is a more scientific term for farsightedness, can see in the distance and they can actually do something that's called accommodate, which means they can see up close as well, but essentially it's your eye straining so that you don't need corrected vision or corrective lenses. And that is something that can over time start to cause headaches and start to cause just eye issues that are uncomfortable. And so that can oftentimes lead people to go to see a doctor and oftentimes when you wear glasses, this is no longer an issue for you. Also poor night vision. This is something that's maybe a little more age related. Definitely something that you'll get with cataracts and something that you'll get with aging eyes. And there are definitely some things that can be done outside of just corrective lenses or prescription lenses. There are different lens coatings and colors that you can do to help with this considerably. So these are all things to consider about vision issues. Now let's talk about the eye exam because this is a really important one and obviously a huge part of vision correction, getting glasses. But I would like to note here that a lot of people only go to the eye doctor when they feel like they need corrective lenses or to correct their vision optically. But it's a really good idea to get that annual or biannual eye exam, as I've said in many other videos, because the doctor is not just doing that refraction, not just checking the vision correction, but he's also, he or she is also checking the health of your eyes. So it's super important to keep up on the health of your eyes. So do not skip out on that eye exam. There's really no reason to not get that eye exam. And what I've found is that most people actually would benefit from some degree of corrective lenses. And so you might come out with better vision after all. Also, what I have found that a lot of people have come in who have no glasses at all, have not worn glasses at all, come out with a pretty significant or sizable prescription and they see way better afterward and had no idea beforehand. And so I would definitely encourage that. And by the way, if that's you, you can come out with some pretty cool glasses, just like this guy. You can walk around all day looking cool in your cool glasses, so get that eye exam. Okay, let's talk failed driving tests. There are a lot of people out there who find that they need to have that eye exam and go for their very first eye exam once they find out that they can't get their license or can't get their license renewed. And so this is definitely a topic that is pretty obvious. I mean, if you come up against that wall, you need to go in, you need to see your doctor. So 
while this is obvious, it can be unique because it's not everyone. There are a lot of people who don't run into this problem. But what I found is that it is usually nearsighted people who run into this issue because when you're driving, you need to see out in the distance. You need to see in front of you. And so nearsightedness or myopia is what needs to be corrected here. And what I've found is that usually this is something that just gets worse as you get older. So for most of you, it's not new, but also astigmatism can be a big one here because like I said earlier, that affects your vision across the board, whether it be out in the distance or up close. And so there are a lot of different corrective needs for people who may have failed their eye exam for their driving test. Now let's talk vision correction or some specific conditions of the eye which require glasses. And I'll talk about the most common ones. So we have nearsightedness and farsightedness, which are the colloquial terms for myopia and hyperopia respectively. Means that with myopia, you can see things up close better. With hyperopia, you can see things out in the distance better. Then of course we have astigmatism. I keep talking about that because that's what I deal with. And astigmatism, like I've said, is blurry just no matter what distance you're looking at. And that is something I always recommend that you correct for just because your life is so much better. I can speak from experience once you have that corrected. Then we have presbyopia. This is more of an age related one, generally 40 plus years old, you start needing reading glasses. And so presbyopia would be reading glasses or bifocals, trifocals, progressives are the most popular. Definitely something that you'll end up wanting to wear so that you can see things up close. There's nothing really that can correct for this. It's age related, it happens to everyone. Just be happy that you're still alive, right? <laughs> No, you're older and that's what happens when you get older, your eyes age. Lastly, cataracts. So specifically, cataracts cannot be corrected with glasses, but most people who have cataracts end up needing glasses after the fact, after the surgery that is. So cataracts, if you were to look up images of this as to what it looks like looking through the eyes of cataracts, you will see that there is a hazy spot, usually right in the middle of your vision and everything around it is nice and clear, but just hazy in the middle. And nothing can correct for this other than cataract surgery. However, after cataract surgery, people tend to need glasses, especially for nighttime driving and those halos around lights. So that's something to be considering for sure if you end up needing cataract surgery. Hey, if you are interested in this kind of informational content and these helpful tips, I would like to invite you to check out our other videos and blogs dedicated to just that. We have information and links down in the description below. I would encourage you to check those out because if you like this, I bet you'll like that too. Also, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're gonna hear about when we put out this kind of content as soon as it comes out. And so I think you should do that. So that pretty well wraps up how to tell if you need glasses. Maybe it seems like an obvious question with an obvious answer, but hopefully you're a little better informed now and you know if it's a good idea to go get that eye exam. Spoiler alert, it's not a spoiler alert because it's at the end, but you should get that eye exam. It makes sense. And by the way, if you decide to order from SportRx, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or doesn't work for you. You can take up to 45 days to figure out if they're working. And by the way, if you reach out to us beforehand, we have opticians who would love to help you through that process and make sure you get it right the first time. So call us, reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully it was informative or helpful. If so, throw us a like. It would mean the world to me. You can check out relevant videos there and you know if you subscribe, you're gonna hear about those relevant videos first. And also we have such good content on our social media outlets. I think you would love it. Check us out at SportRx. <laughs>